Samsung LED diodes are dominant in the growth space, so companies are labeling their lights with Samsung diodes, LM301H or LM301B, and it's super confusing. Here's a chart from Spider Farmer that breaks down the key differences in specs. Now this is what an LM301H diode looks like. Perfect square, one cut corner, a rounded colored square that's close to the edge, a slightly lighter square in the center, and a small wire above the top left corner of this square. Now here's some footage of some LM301B diodes. Notice the difference? Well, neither do I. That's because they look identical. The two key differences in the H versus B versions is that H is 5% more efficient and has anti-sulfurization, which means it's less likely to corrode, but with most lights being waterproof, doesn't really matter. Now there's also LM301D diodes that have a more rounded inner colored square, and these have two distinct rectangles in the center. The problem is, companies are claiming the H or B diodes, but they're using the D diodes instead, which is 15% less efficient. Shame, shame, shame. For my detective work, check the description. Now the 2835s used to be dominant a couple of years ago, and these are easy to distinguish because they're rectangle. There's also generic LEDs that companies try to pass off as Samsung diodes, but the key tells are they don't have rounded colored corners or the corners don't touch the frame completely. Ultimately, like I explained in my how to choose a LED light video, get either LM301B or LM301H diodes. The best drivers are Moso or Meanwell, and distribution is important, but be wary of grossly exaggerated PPFD maps and sponsored reviews on YouTube because they tend to sway tone. For a list of lights I personally recommend, check the description, and for actual footage of plants grown with these lights, check out our Discord.